number one midday news. This is CBS News 8 at 11. Good morning. Thanks for watching. I'm Michelle Medina. And I'm Alicia Summers in for Dan Cohen. Fire crews continue to monitor hot spots at what is left of a La Mesa motel this morning. The fire broke out, sending guests at the roadway in running from their rooms. Those flames shot high into the sky. CBS News 8's Gene Kang joins us live right now with what we've learned. Gene. Good morning, Alicia and Michelle. Uh, firefighters are still here. They're also dealing with some rain. Now, this is the aftermath after a massive fire tore through this motel in La Mesa. And hours later, firefighters are on ladders, still putting out those hot spots, making sure it does not rekindle. We know dozens of guests here at the motel had to evacuate to safety. A dramatic scene, flames shot 50 feet into the air as motel guests evacuated the second and first floors of the roadway in. Firefighters say dozens of guests from 17 rooms ran out, including families. Well, we were sleeping and suddenly we heard screams at everyone out, everyone out. So we grabbed our stuff and... Some say they heard smoke detectors go off, while others say they didn't hear any alarms at all. Grateful that neighbors banged on doors. There was no alarm. There was people that keep saying there was alarm that went off. But there was no alarm. These images from Chopper 8 give you an idea of the widespread damage as the roof collapsed. Heavy fire tore through the second floor at the 4200 block of Spring Street. The hotel is located feet away from homes and businesses near the 94 freeway. Yeah, well, we have a very uh, touchy scene there. Because of the partial roof collapse, it's a very dangerous scene for firefighters still. So our number one concern is obviously going to be for injury. Well, speaking of injuries, firefighters say that nobody was hurt. They were able to evacuate even before firefighters arrived. Now, from the latest information, there is one and a half million dollars in damages, and firefighters tell me that this motel is now a complete loss. Well, coming up at 11:30, we're going to show you what happened to all of the people, dozens of them who evacuated, and how they're doing at this time. For now, back to you in the studio.